Welcome to St. John Cemetery in Charleston, South Carolina. Beneath this ground lie the remains of nearly 1,000 souls of African American Catholics who lived and died in Charleston, South Carolina in the late 1800s and early to mid 1900s. Forgotten and neglected. This ground is now used often as a dog park. On this ground was the Roman Catholic Church, Immaculate Conception Church, that was built in 1880 specifically for African American Roman Catholics. Right about here stood Immaculate Conception Church. The only thing that remains of the church is this brick wall that separated the yard of the church from the sidewalk. This is a graveyard. This is a consecrated graveyard. But it was forgotten. It was forgotten because of the injustice imposed upon African Americans in the Jim Crow South in the time that they lived. But it's not ancient history. Immaculate Conception Church stood right there until 1967 when it was closed and the parishioners were sent to St. Patrick Church. In that open lot right in front of me, is where Immaculate Conception School stood until it was also shut down, but then reopened as a school on Cumming Street, down about three, four blocks to my right. Immaculate Conception School was one of the African-American schools that was funded by St. Catherine Drexel. This is right where the Immaculate Conception School stood. And beyond that, of course, is the St. John Cemetery. The church was closed down and moved, and it, shortly after it was closed, it was torn down after a fire to make way for this, the cross down highway that cuts across the Charleston Peninsula. The cross down was built over what was once Shepherd Street, which was the street on which Immaculate Conception Church and the cemetery were housed. You can see Shepherd Street off there, the remnants of it, those old buildings and houses that had been facing Shepherd Street. It's speculated by some that a portion of the cemetery was actually paved over to make way for the crosstown. The American South is full of places that were once African-American cemeteries that have been neglected or ignored, but many of those are very, very old. This one was a cemetery and active with a church on it in the lifetime of many people today. In 1967, this was an active community of faith, and this was their graveyard. Just in 1970, this was still a visible graveyard. You can see the remains of one of the markers, and the remains of other markers right here. And if you scratch beneath the surface of the grass, you can see additional markers. These are all that are left, the graves of loved ones. It's our obligation, it's our duty, it's what we are called to do as Catholics and as Christians, to remember the faithfully departed. May the faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace, amen.